My name is Michael Brecht and I'm heading a Systems Neuroscience Group at the Bernstein Center for Computational Neuroscience Berlin, Humboldt University. Now our group works on the relationship of neural activity and behavior and in particular what we address in this study are structure function relationships in the nervous system. This is an old question. People could identify neurons for more than a hundred years but they could not easily connect it to function and the reason is that it was very difficult to identify neurons, uh, to sort, of, sort of get a stain into the neuron when the animal was running around and freely behaving. We did this in the entorhinal cortex. The entorhinal cortex is, is seen here from the bottom view of the, of the human brain and it is a very interesting cortical structure heavily involved in the memory formation and strongly affected in dementia. It has a very interesting microstructure with little packages of cells, a few thousand cells, uh, being clustered together in the upper layers of this part of the brain and almost no cells in between. This is very special, uh, very different from other parts of the human brain. And we found that in the red brain, which is uh, seen here from the back, we also have such a patchy structure with small patches and bigger patches that we visualized here by the staining for mitochondrial enzyme, basically it's a metabolic uh, stain. We knew from uh, the work of our colleagues that there are different types of cells in this part of the brain. Some crit cells that sort of seem to break the space into little firing spots, much like a crit over a street map, and head direction cells that fire as a function of the, where the animal faces. And these cells are thought to sort of form a compass for the animal. Now, what we did not know is how they are arranged in relationship to the cortical ar architecture, and that's what Andrea will next elaborate on. Hi, my name is Andrea Burgalossi. I'm postdoc here in Michael Brecht's lab. In this study, I performed juxtacellular recording and labeling of single neurons in medial entorhinal cortex of freely moving rats. Our key development is a new friction-based pipette stabilization system which massively improves the mechanical stability of JAXA cellular recordings. This new device consists of a pipette guide, which is implanted on the rat's head, and a sliding pipette holder. Given the high friction force between the two elements, the pipette is firmly locked into position once a recording is established. This allowed us to record single cell spiking activity in freely behaving animals, and in addition, by biocytin injection, to recover the neuronal morphology of the recorded cells. In middle entorhinal cortex, we observed a striking structure-function relationship between neuronal activity and morphological neuronal identity. When the rat explored a novel environment, a large fraction of superficial layered cells showed multiple spatial fine peaks, reminiscent of grid cell activity. Interestingly, in these cells, we observed a selective axonal projection to a large patch, which we refer to as the centrifugal axon. On the other hand, deep layer neurons were largely silent during exploration, and in these cells we did not observe any centrifugal axon. The selective axonal projections to large patches prompted us to characterize these structures. Identified neurons in large patches had a unique dendritic morphology, strongly polarized away from the patch border. These cells displayed head direction modulated responses, and in addition, they formed very selective microcircuits characterized by two axonal systems, a central petal axonal projection, selectively targeting one or two small layer two patches, and a circumcurrent axon, which runs mediolaterally along the border of entorhinal cortex and connects many large patches. Neurons in different compartments of medial entorhinal cortex also differed in the spike timing relative to the theta rhythm, the most prominent oscillatory pattern of the hippocampal entorhinal network. While superficial layered cells fired preferentially on the ascending phase of the theta cycle, large patch cells showed the strongest theta phase locking and maximal firing on the descending phase. What the current results uh, suggest is that there might be much stronger structure function relationships in the a mammalian cortex to be discovered uh, than previously thought. For example, these circumcurrent axons that connect the head direction cells, these are a very interesting structure that might uh, 
help give you one sense of direction, really know where is the horizon, really uh, providing the animal and probably then also humans with a unified sense of direction. Such research might uh, provide inspirations for understanding human disease and might such be on the, on the long run be relevant for uh, curing uh, diseases that, that uh, threaten all of us like dementia.